So we're doing a couple of things here this morning. First of all, we want to make sure that people have what they need in the now. But at the same time, we're planning for the future because we know the effects of this are going to be long lasting. Rich Wacker is here from American Savings Bank. And first of all, before we get to that, Rich, there's been a lot of collaboration. How important has it been for different businesses to come together like this? Well, I think it's critical. So we've had the Business Roundtable, the Hawaii Executive Collaborative, the Chamber of Commerce working together because policymakers are really in a bind. There's so many things they have to work on. And we know we don't want them to get a lot of competing proposals. So we're trying to really collaborate in the private sector to give our best ideas to the governor, to the legislature, so that we can help them make good decisions for Hawaii. Okay, so, so how do we get people back to work? Well, so, you know, it's, it's really devastating when you see the amount of people who are out. We've got a couple hundred thousand people out of work. It's going to take time for the hospitality industry to come back. I think you've talked with Bob about that a little bit earlier. And so we're trying to come up with more ideas to bring people back to work while we're waiting for the visitor industry to recover. So we've got a bunch of different ideas that we're floating, whether it's a conservation corps with building on Kuku, a nonprofit, a local nonprofit that does natural resource improvement, invasive species removal, those kinds of things. We can extend to all islands. In the financial industry, we've been talking about uh, financial counseling because we know we have tens of thousands of consumers who are struggling. They're, they're on unemployment, they've lost their job. Right now, we've got moratoria on uh, payments and, and the banks are deferring loan repayment, but those things can't go on forever and people have to be coached through how to deal with it as those things end. So we want to train up hundreds of people to do financial counseling, help people through this, help them know the resources that are available, how do they, if they need coaching on staying in their home and, and, and making sure they're avoid, avoiding foreclosure. How do we help them with that? Yeah, Rich, one thing, one thing you had mentioned was, was making sure that people have resources. There, right. There's gonna be a lot of people, unfortunately, that have been doing something for about 20 years and they're gonna have to shift. And so I, th I think a big part of this collaboration is making sure that, that they're able to transition right. or to make that kind of a change. Exactly. So people haven't dealt with this for so long and they, they don't know all the resources that are out there. How do we help them make sure they understand what's available to them so that they have the best chance to, to guide them and their families through this, through this crisis? Well, what else is American Savings Bank been doing? Well, you know, we've been very active in our banking with the Paycheck Protection Program. All the banks have worked very hard to make sure we're getting resources to small businesses to keep their people on payroll. We've been doing that. We've got uh, people still working at the bank and, and in our headquarters, and we've probably bought $250,000 of meals from local restaurants in order to bring that in and help support the restaurants. Uh, it's it, uh, our nonprofit partners. We've made a lot of unrestricted donations to them so that they can help their clients and the and the communities that they're working with to try to try to get through this the best we can. Well, we definitely appreciate you doing your part. And again, the theme here this morning is collaboration. It's businesses working together. It's everyone coming together as Hawaii stands together. And that's what this is all about. Guy, over to you.